1. Three forms of soul are considered. Soul, ghost and subtle soul. The one who resides in the physical body is called soul. When this soul resides in a body filled with lust and desires, then it is called a ghost. When this soul enters the subtlest body, it is called microsoul. The speed and power of ghosts are immense. They have different castes and they are called ghosts, ghosts, demons, vampires, yama, shakini, dakini, witches, gandharvas etc. 2. Types of ghosts. In Hindu religion, people who die according to their speed and karma have been divided into ghost, ghost, vampire, kushmanda, brahmrakshas, vetal and kshetrapala. All the above also have sub-parts. According to Ayurveda, there are 18 types of ghosts. Ghost is the earliest term or we can say that when a common person dies, the first to be created is a ghost. Similarly, when a woman dies, she is known by different names. It is believed that when a child, woman or young girl dies, she becomes a witch and when a virgin girl dies, she is called a goddess. A woman who has bad deeds is called a witch or dakini. All these originate from one's sins, adultery, untimely death or not performing shridha. 3. 84 lakh vaginas. The souls living in animal, bird or human life go to invisible ghosts after death. The form of life obtained by each birth of the soul is called yoni. There are 84 lakh such species which include insects, birds, animals, trees and humans etc. People who go to Pritayoni become invisible and strong. But not all those who die go to this stage and all those who die are invisible but not strong. It depends on the karma and movement of the soul. Many ghosts or ghosts become human by not going into the vagina but by getting pregnant again. During Pitri Paksha, Hindus offer prayers to their ancestors. This proves that ancestors exist in the form of souls or ghosts. There is a detailed description about ghosts in Garun Puran. There is also a description in Srimad Bhagavat Purana about the Dhundkari becoming a ghost.